What's up, you guys? It's Jono! Welcome to another episode of my Pokemon Legends Arceus request series. Today we're on request number 62, the Pokemon in the River photo. This is another one of the photography requests where you're going to have to identify a certain Pokemon based on a little tiny picture of it that Daguerro has got right here at the photography shop in Jubilee Village. He just can't figure out which Pokemon it is, but I'm guessing you might be able to figure out which Pokemon it is. It's pretty obvious if you know what you're looking at, although I'm guessing maybe if you made it to this video, you just can't figure out which Pokemon it is. So I'll tell you right up front, it is cute little Turtwig, or Turntwig as I love to call him. Now that's a great Pokemon, I love Turtwig, and there's only one place in the entire game where it spawns, and that is going to be in the Crimson Mirelands. I'm gonna show you exactly how to get your hands on a Turtwig during this photo, and show you a couple of things that might go wrong or might happen along the way, just so you know that you can get that Pokemon guaranteed, and I wanna make sure that you do get it. Okay, so first off, I'm pinning the location on the map. There's a little pond over here, and and Turtwig spawns over here consistently. It's always in the same spot, except sometimes it's replaced with a grottle. I'm gonna show you the run over there real quick, just in case you get lost so you know how to get over there. You do have to use your swimming Pokemon Basque Legion to swim across the river. And then once you get over here, there's going to be two spawns. Usually it's a Turtwig and a Paris. However, in this case, I got the very rare Grottle spawn. Sometimes the Turtwig is replaced with a Grottle. It's just a mechanic of this particular spawn location. It's always two Pokemon, usually Turtwig and Paris. It could also be two Turtwig. It could be Grottle and Paris. It could be Grottle and a Turtwig. There's different combinations that you can get. However, in this case, I happen to get the Grottle, which is not what I'm looking for for the achievement. I definitely don't want Grottle. So there's something that you can do just in case you do get Grottle. You can go back to camp and you can rest until a different time period of the day and that will cause these Pokemon to respawn. Make sure that you catch the Pokemon that are here just like I did. So you can fast teleport right back to camp and then rest and the Pokemon will come back. So if for any reason there is not a Turtwig there, catch both of the Pokemon, make sure that you go back to camp and rest until a different time period of the day. So if it's morning, rest until afternoon. If it's afternoon, rest until morning. Just make sure you change the time period. And then once you get done resting, head right on back to that exact same spot and the Pokemon will respawn and you should get a Turtwig, okay? I wanted to make sure that's on there because I would have just said, there's a guaranteed Turtwig here every time, except like you saw in this video, the Turtwig isn't actually guaranteed. There's a very rare chance that you'll get a Grottle instead and it just happened to happen to me while I was recording this video. So I thought I would include that information just in case anybody is confused about that because it was a little bit confusing while I was recording it as well. The same thing goes for Chimchar in the Ramana's island location. Sometimes you can get Monferno in Chimchar's place over on Romana's island in Obsidian Fieldlands. It's just an interesting way that the spawn mechanic works. And the same thing is true for Piplup. Aside from Piplup does not get replaced by Prinplup. I made a whole video about it, but Prinplup does spawn right next to where Piplup spawns. And that's all of your starters from Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. And there's just some interesting spawn mechanics that go along with those different Pokemon. Anyway, I showed you how to get the Turtwig. I showed you what to do just in case there's not a Turtwig. And then once you go back to see Daguerro, you can show him the Turtwig and you can complete this request and he will expand the photography shop. Now, I don't particularly use this feature in the game. I feel like this is the least used feature for me. Let me know down in the comments. Do you guys use the photography shop? I only completed this request because I'm completing 100% every single request in the game. So that's why I did this one. Of course, I wanted to make the video for you guys as well, just in case you're struggling with it. But yeah, I never use the photography studio. I just don't find it to be that interesting of a feature. Let me know if you use it down in the comments. All right, everybody. I hope you found this video useful and informative. Thanks everybody for watching, thank you to all of my amazing subscribers, and peace!